The first step in treatment is to remove the disease. Sometimes this means removing the ossicles or hearing bones. The initial operation is not designed to improve your hearing, it's designed to remove the disease and stop it causing more damage. It's common to need a second operation six to 12 months later. This is because cholesteatoma often comes back or can't be completely removed in one operation. During the second operation, if there's no more cholesteatoma found, it's a good opportunity to repair the ossicular chain or the small bones in the middle ear that help hearing to improve your hearing. There's two kinds of operations that can be done for cholesteatoma. The ear canal leads to the eardrum and behind that is the middle ear. The middle ear is connected to another airspace behind the ear called the mastoid cavity. And you can feel this as the lump of bone behind your ear. For some people, the disease can be removed by going through the ear canal and behind the ear, but leaving the back wall of the ear canal intact. This is called an intact canal wall mastoidectomy. It results in a more natural shaped ear canal, less reliance on your surgeon to clean the ear canal for you, and can lead to a better hearing result. It has a small increased risk of the disease coming back and you will need to have an operation every 12 months until the ear is completely free of disease. The second type of operation is called a modified radical mastoidectomy. This involves operating down the ear canal and behind the ear, but also removing the back wall of the ear canal. Instead of having an ear canal, you have a large cavity called a mastoid cavity. This has the advantage of a lower chance of the disease coming back and less need for more surgery. The disadvantage is this very large ear canal or cavity doesn't clean itself easily and you are relying on the surgeon to clean the ear for you every six to 12 months. It's also harder to have an ear plug fitted to allow you to swim. And if water or cold air gets into the cavity, you can feel dizzy. The hearing result after this kind of surgery can be worse than after an intact canal wall mastoidectomy. I decide which operation suits you best based on how severe your disease is and the damage that's already been caused. I use your hearing test, your examination and a CT scan of the ear to make these decisions. And I then look at your lifestyle and what's important to you. If you have good hearing and surfing and swimming are important to you, an intact canal wall mastoidectomy is preferable. If you're older and would like to avoid more surgery and swimming's not important to you and the disease has already caused significant hearing loss, then a modified radical mastoidectomy may suit you better. For more information, please ask me, my practice nurse, or look at our website.